first practice that I'm gonna introduce to you is it's about as simple as it as it sounds, and it's just rumbling. We're just gonna rumble all together. So everybody rumbles. See the hands go up, that's our stop signal for the rumble. Rumble. Stop. Rumble. Stop. Now we're gonna rumble soft. Get a little louder. And rumble loud. And stop. One of the first rumble games that we like to try is just fun little exercise where we rumble if. So rumble if you are enjoying watching football this year. Vikings fans would say not so sure. <laughs> rumble if you like to climb trees. I don't climb too many trees anymore. I don't want to fall but my kids love it. Rumble if you love playing Basketball. And of course there's rumble if you like pizza. And everybody rumbles always with that. With any of these practices, we like to give control. And so when students, when we notice that students are getting excited and the kids are getting engaged, then we can then we can choose students to be leaders. So rumble the rumble if game is a perfect opportunity for this. It's like, does anybody have a rumble? And then a lot of times we'll just go all the way around the class or all the way around the circle and everyone will have will want to say a rumble. And that's a great way to sort of get to know kids, get to know what's going on um, with them. Um, and it's just a fun, engaging, easy, safe way to start and sort of this uh, seems to me like it would be a great way to start a day. Um, the rumble is can get, can be a little crazy, so you know, depending on your classroom, you gotta kind of gauge what's you know how the day how the day feels. But a little rumble if in the morning seems like a a great way to sort of see how things are going. Maybe especially after the weekend. Our next exercise for this week is the most simple, most core rhythm. In all of our lives, it's our heartbeat. So, I think one of the best regulating activities you can do, uh, brain edu educating activities you can do, is to teach kids how to take their pulse, how to chart their pulse, how to figure out a pulse rate. Um, obviously, it can be done as a as a group individually. Um, there have some been some science teachers who have charted their pulse with their class and use that as a charting exercise and also it's a great way for kids to learn about like where their bodies are when they come into the classroom and can be a great tool for a teacher in figuring out or a parent uh, where their kids are at um, on a, at any given time during the day. So first things first, find the pulse. This would be an chance to, if you have young kids, teach them how to find their pulse, how to count their pulse, and then perhaps um, do a pulse rate by timing it and then doing multiplication. Lots of opportunities um, there for uh, learning about our bodies, about the heart, and also finding a rhythm. And then our drumming exercise is going to be drumming our pulse. And everybody's going to be start differently, and that's good. But eventually, I bet the class will start to all come together um, in a similar, in a similar rhythm, because that's what we tend to do in the group when we hear the hear the beats. We start to lose our pulse and we start to join in with everyone else. And then as we do that, we can switch from our pulse standard pulse beat to a heartbeat. So I'm gonna show you now. I'm taking my pulse. in my pulse. And now I'm going to go into the heartbeat. And 
And that's our heartbeat. Our heartbeat pattern, pretty simple. You can add a clap if you want. And I found that this beat is something that all kids and people can pretty much figure out. Queen knew it, and it works. And stop. Great. If you're a teacher, one thing to look for doing any of these simple practices is which kids are seem to be naturally rhythmic and which kids perhaps have trouble with rhythm. Uh, oftentimes they align with their reading uh, abilities, but not always, but you'll see it. Uh, but it just gives you an idea of like who may be able to help you with leading rhythmic practice. Um, not all teachers obviously are rhythmic and mu or musical and that's fine. So just something to look for as you're doing some of these simple exercises, just getting, getting that idea.